Hello there, you are welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on the Joy News Channel. My name is Doreen Avio, and today I'm so excited because I get to bring you everything in your world of showbiz. But most importantly, I know what I'm about to start with. Most of you are going to be like, oh, we are tired. It's not everyone who is tired, though, because it's still ongoing because we're in Ghana. <laughs> well, I'll tell you uh, about our next contestant for the Thon Thon. Yeah, I mean Thon Thon. You know, we've had singer ton, we've had speech a ton, we just we keep having ton ton, but now we have paint a ton. I had the opportunity to have a conversation with the lady who is gonna do this on the 15th of March, and I'm gonna tell you more about her. And also Rexoma is in the news. You know, Rexoma is a musician, he's also imagine he was talking more on politics. I'll bring update on that as well i have a lot to share with you so just sit down relax as i take you through one after the other if you're just joining me this is let's talk showbiz and of course we're starting with painter town so just like i mentioned it all started in december when we all heard about singerton then we went on to hear about uh, um, cookathon then the others follow speechathon digathon <laughs> I know, I don't know which one I, I missed out on, but the current one we're all waiting and looking forward to is Pentaton. Now, mind you, the two first ones that we've already experienced or they've already done their thing, which is the Singathon and Cookathon, have both been disqualified. They couldn't make it. So we're waiting for the others. But the new one that is coming up is Pentaton. Now, I'm sure you want to know who is she? Her name is Sharon D. Party. She's an architect. She's also a painter. Like she does a lot of, uh, you know, artistic stuff. Now she said that actually something that she wanted to do. But I had a conversation with her just to find out what motivated her to the rules among others. And she shared with us. So let's take a listen to Sharon on why she wants to do Pentathon. Why mm -hmm. are you attempting to now break a record for the longest painting marathon? Good question. Um, I applied for this marathon about a year ago. I tried to apply, hmm? and then I got a response that it needs to be. You can't use something you have done already, because at that time I had done um, thousand four hundred and eighty paintings for Rock City wow. Hotel. And I went for an interview three, at Three Lemons, and my host, when she got to know it, she was like, wow, you need to be in the Guinness Book of Records. Because if you did those paintings in about six weeks, that's amazing. Mm. So that was when I tried to apply, but I realized, no, it wasn't possible to use a past um, activity mm. to apply. Okay. So I, I just left it till um this december mm -hmm. when we just realized that someone had uh said uh, broken a record at the u.s okay for 100 hours yeah painting. of painting so i was like i just told my daughter okay apply for me let me break it it was did. just a joke <laughs> <laughs> it was just a joke but it yeah, is yeah so when she was applying she was like mommy what um what do i write where do i write that you will paint mm -hmm. then i went like at home this is the only place you know i, I feel okay. comfortable, comfortable painting mm. so and i was I, I think maybe that i was in a cuckoo's world because <laughs> what i thought was i'll be in my home maybe they will bring uh, the media that will take coverage they will just bring their cameras mm. and i'll just be with the media Dang and they will painting. just yes and i'll paint and then they will send the evidence so i was very okay mm. with the application so when um in three weeks time oh, okay. so i got a response weeks. okay and they were like no you have to paint in a public place Ooh. Uh, should be in a crowd you know that kind of mm -hmm. and i was like oh oh no that's way. a whole different ball <laughs> exactly. game altogether. that's not your comfort zone i know right <laughs> wow yeah so um here i am Get i've ready. got the offer mm -hmm. and i can't say because of the location you're not doing i'll turn it down no 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 i have to hmm. and 
um, at the end of the day, what came to mind later on was as a heritage painter who uh, projects my culture, tradition, mm. and most of all, feminism in the African woman. Yeah. I think going public mm -hmm. is not bad since I'm going to project Ghana mm -hmm. and our culture. And once it's we are in the Ghana month, yeah, I think it's the right time to do, to do that. that. Okay. Yes, and, and I see myself to be the right painter to be doing that marathon <laughs> at this time. So when when is the, when is this supposed to happen? Um, on the fifteenth of March. Oh, then you are the right to the twenty first, <laughs> like right time Ghana month, and I'm sure we can't wait to see what you're going to do. What are some of I the know. rules in there? What are you supposed to do and what are um, you not supposed to do? I know that nobody's supposed to help me paint my brushes or anything. Anything. Um, my brush shouldn't leave the canvas for more than a minute. Um, and then uh, the paintings mm -hmm. should not be abstract. It, it can be abstract but meaningful okay yeah they don't want the meaningless type of abstracts it, it, it's got to tell a story i mm -hmm. beg I, I, I want when you say an abstract is meaningless yes for a painter every act has a purpose and a message uh -huh. so how would they determine that this is a meaningless abstract mm -hmm. okay when 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 you talk about a meaningless abstract in terms of what the guinness world record was saying because you are right when you say every abstract has a meaning mm -hmm. yes i can just do circles mm -hmm. and i can name it bubbles you know i have a meaning to it but they are just circles and if you look at it you might not understand what it is so when you go to what where the guinness world is coming from they are trying to say that they want things that are obvious that when you see you can see this is a woman mm. you know they want um objective kind of objective types of paintings mm. yes okay yeah all right so that's what it looks like so yeah. so with the abstract painting and then what else yes that's part of the rules and then how do you um, take your break Yes, yeah, every one hour, I have five minutes break. Ooh. But you can compile it. Probably you do 12 hours, you have an hour break. So that you know how to go about with your break. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes. Wow. But I feel it's very advisable to be seated five, seven minutes before your time is up. Because looking at how they are using the timing mm. i think we need to be very very because that's the next question so yes. means they are saying that the brush should not leave the canvas mm -hmm. more than a minute more than a more minute, than a minute. Yep. and then your break is what five five minutes after five minutes an hour. after an hour right so that was sharon there giving her reasons and also narrating some of the things she needs to do and what not to do mind you is actually happening on the 15th of march she's supposed to paint for 50 and actually seven days and for me when i looked at the rules some of the things she said i don't know how she's gonna do it but i can only ask that we keep supporting them those who are participating in it let's not say that we are tired i mean yeah we keep hearing that here and there but it's something new and <laughs> Oh, shall pass. <laughs> we are away from that. We're moving straight to Rex Omar. Now, Rex Omar is a new, in the news. We all know he's a musician. He's also a politician. He's also the chairman for Gamro. And, you know, he's been saying a lot about politics with regards to, I mean, the presidency. He wished that they could go for only six years and not four years so that they would be able to do stuff. And also, he said that if he's given any position as a politician or to do something in politics, he said he's ready. Let's listen to Rex Omar, who was on Showbiz ATZ with Kwame Datsi. Now I think I'm of age and I think um, if I'm given any appointment, that is within my capacity. I will be able to contribute positively to the development of this country. A ministerial appointment, let's say, Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture. When we get to that road, we'll cross it because at the end of the day, 
um, all these ministerial positions, they are, they are political appointments. Mm. And then so long as you are smart and you are intelligent and you know what's going on in this country, wherever they put you, you can de deliver if you really want to. Have there been conversations regarding this particular? Not yet. Are you looking forward to that? Not really. Because you see, <laughs> there's so many people who can play that role. Okay. To me, the most important thing is whoever is put in that, that place to play the role, mm. um, if you give him the advice and they will take, so long as the enabling environment is created, it will help me to do my business. Mm -hmm. Because America uh, uh, do elections or that, uh, do elections every mm -hmm. we also jump on the bandwagon, do election every four years. But the question is, American democracy is over 200 years. We just started. Okay, so look at our situation. You want us to change the, the four years? You think I it's think it's too short. How and many, it's not how, helping us. How many years do you, do you suggest? I would rather would have wished if we can go six years and one term. Six years? Six years, one term. Because if you are given six years, you lose one year or one and a half years to set up your government. Mm -hmm. If four years, five years, you are not able to do anything, it means you can't do anything. There's no need for you to go a second term. We can decide to go seven no, years. Don't you, one think, term. don't you think people will still want more, more years, you know, or more time to finish whatever they want to do? You know, the you, whole, even if you give them ten years. The, no, the whole situation is: look at our scenario. Mm -hmm. After election, the first year, it's not that the government is being formed, the appoint, appointments, and all these things. By the yeah. time the government settles to actually start to rule its program. Mm -hmm. You are getting to two years. Now, instead of them to work, they are thinking of how to win the next election. Mm -hmm. 